I'm moving to India. This is the best I've ever eaten in my life. Towards the end of last year, my wife and I embarked on a journey of a lifetime. I visited India with her for the very first time and watched her reunite with her family after five years. It was incredible and well, it was a trip filled with heartfelt memories and many firsts as I got a chance to experience Tamil Indian culture firsthand. We've documented this so make sure you check out our playlist. Months after this amazing experience, people still ask me what the biggest highlight of the trip was besides getting a chance to connect with my Indian family. And well the answer to that, the only answer to that is, you guessed it, the food. Throughout my time there, I had the chance of exploring the diverse world of Tamil Indian cuisines. So after many months of craving these flavors and foods, it's time to revisit our trip to Chennai and recount my favorite food experiences from the lens and perspective of a Nigerian. To kick us off, we're diving into one of Chennai's most beloved dishes and one of my top 5 favorites from this trip, Chicken Biryani. A dish known for its symphony of flavors and spices, this aromatic delicacy has captured the hearts and taste buds of Chennai's and food enthusiasts alike. And well, I couldn't wait to get my hands on some. Literally a day after arriving in Chennai, we set out to this place, a multi-story building of a shop known for selling everything from clothes to kitchen items. What I couldn't have imagined was the fact that there was a food court at the very top of the place. Entering in, it was crowded, like super crowded. We were all there for the same reason though, to eat. Not too long in, I received my plate and <sighs> my life changed. Now, not only was it incredible, it was super affordable. It was so good. I was literally in genuine disbelief that the first place we tried was this good. So at this point, my wife and I came up with an idea, which was to try as many different chicken biryani dishes to see if this could be topped. So stick around to see if this biryani was dethroned. Next up, we have a dish that completely stole my heart on this trip, masala ghee roast dosa. This dish will definitely go down as an all-time breakfast favorite. It's just that good. This beloved South Indian dish is a showstopper and you notice that from the moment you see it. The crispy dosa is cooked to perfection and what sets it apart is the spicy and flavorful masala filling, typically made with potatoes, onions and a mix of aromatic spices. To be very honest, if I was to go to Chennai for one thing, it would probably be this. This is possibly one of my favorite foods of all time. Meanwhile on the biryani adventure, I set out to see if we could find any other biryani that would impact me just as much as the very first one. We tried a number of places and found some very great contenders. This particular one was honestly extremely flavorful. They also had great juices to go along with it. We're going in for the finish. While it was definitely a great plate, I couldn't help but remember how cheap the plate of the first biryani was. And comparing it on that level, it was evident I was going to need more convincing if this was going to become my favorite chicken biryani in Chennai. Next up on my favorite dishes, we have a slightly odd addition because it's not a traditional Tamil dish, but nonetheless, it was still one of the best things I've ever eaten. Let's give a round of applause to the shawarma. Not just any shawarma, but the one served here. I'm moving to India. <laughs> this is the best shawarma I've ever eaten in my life, literally. One of the most enjoyable experiences I had was touring this food street, which was basically a destination that comes alive at night. Over here, I tried all kinds of things that were impeccable. But the one thing that never left my mind was a shawarma I tried. It was amazing. If you ever go to Chennai, not going here would be a complete disservice. Make sure you check it out, guys. Next up on my list of foods in Chennai, we have something that is not particularly a food, but is an important part of food culture in Chennai, filter coffee. Chennai's love affair with coffee runs deep and its unique presentation sets it apart. 
What makes it truly exceptional is a traditional brewing process. It's not just a beverage, it's a cultural experience, a daily ritual, and a source of comfort for many. And as a coffee lover, I couldn't get over how important it was in Tamil culture. I mean, every day I was blessed with multiple cups of it from our family. Anytime we went out, it was a part of the program. When we went shopping and we were waiting for our goods, we were offered a cup of coffee. Even at the airport on the way back, there was never a shortage of filter coffee outlets. And I think it just shows how ingrained it is in the culture. Coffee is more than a drink in Chennai. It is a part of life and it's a crucial ingredient in bringing people together. If you ever go to Chennai and don't try it, did you really go to Chennai? Meanwhile, on the biryani adventures, we soon found a different joint that seemed a lot more upscale than the rest we had gone to. The food was really good and we had a spread of other things and honestly, the biryani was quite great. I still however needed a few more options before I could come to a valid conclusion. For the last spot on my favorite foods list in Chennai, it has to be a South Indian thali. How could it not be? This culinary experience is a true reflection of the region's rich heritage and flavors. In Chennai, a Tamil thali is a harmonious ensemble of authentic South Indian dishes, meticulously prepared and beautifully presented on a single platter. Every element of the thali showcases the region's diverse flavors and textures. It's a very special meal to me because this was the first meal I ever ate in Chennai upon meeting my family there for the first time. It's really more than a dish. It's the culture presented on a banana leaf. It's probably one of the most wholesome dishes I've ever experienced and I'd encourage anyone who gets a chance to visit Chennai to try it. But before we forget, we still needed to see who had the best biryani. After numerous tries, we set out for another spot that promised to be a strong contender. And it really was. From the portions to the flavor, I truly had a great time. But the more I started to think about the biryani I tried, I realized that the only way to truly settle the score is to go back to where it all started. I needed to taste that first biryani I had just one more time to be able to conclude. And well, we did. One spoon in, <laughs> it was evident who the winner was. It was this place, guys. Forget the crowd and all that. Like, there was just something so beautiful about the biryani here. It was simple. They did not try to overthink it, and as a result, it turned out to be breathtaking. If I ever move to Chennai, I'll definitely be living close to this place. So there it goes. These were my favorite dishes in Chennai, and it obviously doesn't do justice to the amazing, diverse culinary experiences one can have in Chennai. I was constantly trying and exploring new things that kept blowing me away. These five, however, remain a major highlight of my experience and, well, gave me an experience of a lifetime. I'll definitely be back for more. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on what's coming next. Bye. I'm moving to India. <laughs>